<laughs> What's up, Shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, happy Solar Eclipse Day. I've been wearing these glasses all day and I haven't seen a damn thing <laughs> besides this like circle. It was a light and then it went away partially. It wasn't totally, it was totally, it wasn't totally, it was in the totality. Anyways, happy Solar Eclipse Day. <laughs> Let's put this on dead shred. Today's video for today's live we're going to be unboxing guess what it's a solar scooter guys so i need to unbox a solar scooter on the day of the solar so yeah this is the the new solar eclipse let me get all, all the stats it's a p1 3.0 scooter it's going to be a 52 volt scooter we'll go over like the full stats after we get it unboxed Any questions? Anybody in the comments? Uh, we have Any Shredhead, Shredhead members? Oh, yeah, Shredhead member Nevermind is in the chat. What's, What's up, up, everyone? Checking in from Makaha, Hawaii. What's up, Hawaii? What's up from Delaware, brother? And if you guys want to become a Shredhead member, you get videos like two to three days early sometimes, and um, you get that little Shredhead next to your name. And I think the one that Nevermind has is like, like one of the top tier uh, Shredheads. He's been a Shredhead for a while, so. You get a little shred head next to your name, and then you get shout outs at the end of every video. Damn, you guys wrapped this up really good. So solar scooters should be in the chat. So if you have any questions uh, for solar scooters, any questions you guys have, they have a ton of other products to check out. So if you have a question about something and it's not this, it definitely, uh, shoot, <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I've ever unboxed Anything this taped up. <laughs> we have some more people in the chat. I Scoot, Connecticut. What's up, I Scoot? Is it Robert from Hartford, Connecticut here? Did you get a nice uh, eclipse day today in uh, Connecticut? A How Neville, was the weather? A Neville Chamberlain. What's going on, brother? Watching from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn! Hell yeah, dude. I want to go there soon, guys. I want to go there. I know there's like a DC ride coming up soon. I might hit that up. All right. We got the... Most of that plastic off. There we go. Hi, Scoot said, I just got my first hyper scooter, 3K by two, terrifying, but a blast. Nice, nice. So I'm not sure if this is the Tron edition or not. They have the Tron edition where you can choose like different colors on the floorboards and stuff. And it looks like a Tron bike. So that's pretty cool or a Tron scooter, sorry. Oh, first thing, it's actually a box within a box, guys. So. I want to show you that first. I opened the box, I was like, wait a minute, there's another box. So we plop open both boxes. Yeah. Oh yeah, and finally we got a nice day and it was on the solar eclipse, so that's pretty cool. I'm stoked on that. And tomorrow's gonna be like 70 something degrees, so we got a review tomorrow that we're gonna shoot. Um, here's the instruction manual. You guys know how I feel about instruction manuals. If we get stuck, we'll pop on there. But it's a scooter, scooter so I think we're, I was gonna say, I was saying scooter and solar at the same time. But uh, yeah, we probably just gotta pop up the bars and we're good to go. Let me open the charger, see what kind of charger comes in there. Any questions, guys? We also have uh, Bubs330. He's from Akron, Ohio. What's up, Bubs? What's up in Ohio? He said we got the total eclipse here. You lucky. We, we only partially got it. I tried doing a time lapse and like fi filming my bike on the back and it didn't even look like anything. Like it didn't get dark here. So that was a total waste. I left my, my, my camera on the ground in the middle of the street. So like neighbors had to drive around it. For like over an hour. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, well, that was lackluster. All we have is the, the 3D shadow. Let's see what kind of charger we got. I want to say two to three amp charger maybe. Let me check, let me check. 1.8 amp charger. Here we go. I wonder if you, uh, Solar, if you guys are in the chat, do you guys sell fast chargers also for your scooters? I just said, too bad they did not send you the Pro. That one is the fastest. Hey, maybe we'll get the Pro next. Faster than 40 miles an hour? This is dual motor, so. And, and supposedly it has like a, a launch mode, like the Tesla. It gets in this little cheetah stance. No, I'm just kidding. I would, can I just like pull, whoa, can I just pull it out? Sick, dude. I'm, I'm stoked on the colors already. I'm just gonna pull, pull it out. I just one-armed it. 
that's cool. All right, let me set this down. It's like sliding. Oh, all right, cool. It stays up. There's more stuff in the box. Lots of styrofoam. Cool. They give you a set of Allen keys. Thank you, Solar Scooters, if you're in the chat yet. They're, uh, they're actually based out of the UK, and I think they have a spot in uh, Los Angeles also, but they say they're the number one scooter brand in the US and the UK. I can't wait to test these things out. Um, I've been checking them out on Instagram. The quality looks pretty sick. There we go. Scooter. Sounds solid. <laughs> scooter in a bag. I was able to pick it up with one hand. That was not bad. I see you said it's a pretty oh, good no. price for what you get. Almost, what is it, $12.99.99? But if you use code SHREDDY, you can get it for eleven ninety nine 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 nine. Well, it saves you $100 off? 100 bucks off. Boom. We got more stuff here. Oh, that's a display. Hell yeah, dude. I love these like little trigger displays like that. Or, uh, sorry, display, uh, throttles. I've never opened this, so I'm guessing you hit that little guy and pull it up. Or do I look at the instructions? Guys, do I have to look at the instructions? Unless so solar, you guys, oh, I see, I see. There we go. Does this lock it all the way? Yeah, and that locks it. Okay. That was like one of the quickest unboxings ever. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That wasn't a struggle. There's a headlight right here. Is there any questions while we're uh, quickly unboxing this? It's Monday night, don't forget, at nine o'clock. Favorite uh, show comes on, Kill Tony on YouTube. If you guys haven't watched Kill Tony, you should definitely check out that show. It is hilarious. If you guys like comedy and you like to laugh and uh, you know, usually everybody hates Mondays. I don't hate Mondays. <laughs> Ice Scoot said no struggling tonight. Was there a seat in the box? Hold on, I might be struggling with getting this tape off this light. I'm not gonna take a razor to it. Okay. Is there a seat in the box? I don't know, you want me to check? I scoot, you want me to check? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the struggle. Struggling okay, hard. we're struggling. Dude. Let's zoom into that. Don't the struggle. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use a, a rusty razor blade. There we go. Thank goodness <laughs> for rusty razor blades. I, I left it out in the garage all winter, so didn't do too well. What the heck, how's this work? E. Why do I have that now? I was down, but now I'm up song stuck in my head like crazy. Where would you guys put this light? Should I look at the instruction manual? Is solar scooters in here yet? Looks like it should be like, uh, uh, can we bring it up a little bit? Looks like it might go in, no? And then this bike has a surprise that you'll okay, show us let's look at the instructions. towards the end also, right? Hold on, what? What, you said you were excited to show? Oh, the Tron thing? It doesn't have the Tron on this. No, the light up light? Uh, oh, actually, hold on, wait a second. No, I don't know if this one's it or not. I'm not sure which edition I got. Guess we'll Solar, find out. where are you guys at? Read the instructions. <laughs> okay, so the light goes down here. Right here, okay. Um, want me to back this up a little bit so I can show you guys? Dude, it's got freaking quad suspension on the front. What in the world? And we got off-road tires. That's pretty sick. I like that. Feels solid. Feels pretty solid. Uh, guys, where'd I put all the rest of the tools? Dude, did you see where I put like... Oh, this, this. They gave you tools. <laughs> this and this. This is all I got. Cool. This actually keeps everything like situated for you guys. It's pretty cool. We have another Shredhead member who joined the chat. Hey, welcome to the chat. Who is it? Who's in here? Yair Sosa. What's up, Yair Sosa? Hello, Eddie and Dee. Always a pleasure to see you. I'm going to guess. First time. First time. Let's see. <gasps> Lee Eisen yes. said, yo, did you see the eclipse? I saw the eclipse and it was really cool, but we only we didn't get uh, totality. Is that what I keep, keep calling it? We didn't get the total eclipse. We only got like the partial 
here in Delaware. I know, I know some of you guys got it like total, total darkness, and that's freaking amazing. I wish we got that. All right, so we pull that out. You got a little like blue thing on the front. If Michael you can see. Scott said instructions, please. No, bro, no. Oh, I gotta unclip that. Okay, we'll do it. We'll freaking do it. Boys please. and toys said, "What's up?" What's going on, brother? How's your Monday doing? Are you gonna be watching Kill Tony at nine o'clock? He said, "I'm in Arlington. We got the total total eclipse." Hold on, that's not even that far from us. What? How come Delaware didn't get, dude? Delaware, come on, Delaware. I said, yo, We're I live in Maryland, over here. LOL. Hell yeah, what part? I used to do like deliveries all around Maryland for a, a roofing company. I used to drive a, a state body with like a bunch of either like siding or it'd be like a bunch of shingles or shingles and siding and I'd have to unload it. Ugh. Oh, Boys and work. Toys is from Arlington, Texas, not Arlington, Virginia. Uh, oh, yeah, Texas. Yeah, we definitely got totality. My mom's in um, Kempner, K-E-M-P-N-E-R, close to Killeen. Close to Austin. Austin, about an hour, hour and ten minutes, something like that. Supposedly, this light is, like, really bright. It does look like it has some pretty Oh, I said, um, I there. live in Denton. Denton? That's where Wicked Thumb is. You wait, should go visit Wicked Thumb. Wait, he lives... Denton, Maryland, not Denton, Texas. Oh my God, we were getting all types of confused. <laughs> I thought I lived in Denton, Texas too. And I was like, wait, you said you lived right, by us. Oh, got a light on there. This isn't tight. What am I supposed to do here? Apparently, there must be cities in every state that are the same. Oh, that's for. Is that, he said too close to the Bay Bridge. Can I raise this? How do I raise this? Oh, oh yeah, it's really low. Close to the Bay Bridge. I thought you meant oh, too yeah. close to the bridge itself. I've held my breath. Um, the whole Bay, Bay Bridge one time. Do you think, <laughs> do you believe that? No. All right, we got mechanical disc brakes on this bad boy. Let's get this display and throttle. Holy crap, that's so cool. Oh, Michael Scott said, that. swing by Washington State. We're on Kamano Island. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so you in. can get a key, one with a key or um, a fingerprint. And I think this is the fingerprint scanner one. Yeah, please enter your fingerprint. Once I turn that on, dude, are they gonna like put me in some kind of database or, or something else? Uh, That's cool. Oh no, no I feel bad now. I'm just bike. joking. <laughs> so I gotta tighten up the the display. I seen a few few loose screws over here. You see those? So now I gotta figure out which which one to put in these little mini holes. I right, said which part go. of Delaware y'all are in we're in southern delaware at the beaches so you know have you heard of uh rehoboth lewis or dewey that's where we frequent you know a song i got stuck in my head now i was down but now i'm up because we were like putting a reel up today <laughs> Did anyone How's see the feel? reel he put up today? Oh, that really? might be too high. That might be too high. If I can set it like around there. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I need to adjust a little. I said, oh, yeah, Rehoboth Beach. Let's go. It's finally a nice day outside. Yeah, finally. It's been so long since we have good weather here. But I think for the next two days, it's going to be pretty nice. And then we got more rain coming our way, more wind. I guess it's like that in, in the Northeast, and I never never thought about that. And I was like, I oh, don't know. I remember Shaw, uh, Mama Shaw was like, you guys get rain all the time up, up there. I'm like, no, we don't. Uh, I, yeah, I think we do. Maybe I just don't remember. Shredhead member Scarecrow joined the chat. What's up, Scarecrow? He said hello there. Scarecrow, I got to put my thumbprint in here to start it. What do you think? Should I do it? They're going to take all my, uh, all my data with my thumbprint. Cool. Lee, Lee Azan said they're going to take your DNA. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Watch, like I put my finger in there, a little freaking needle pops out. Like, ah! All right, cool. I'm just checking everything out, checking everything out. Looks like we got a headlight, rear tail light. Um, I don't know. What Should I turn it on, guys? Looks like we have, this is, oh, look, the on and off switch for the headlights. Oh, up and down, up and down. Okay. I thought there was like a little, okay. Okay, okay. All right, so let's turn the sucker on. Let's turn it on. Do you guys want the specs now, or you want me to turn it on first? 
All right, here we go. Do I use my pointer finger? Please enter your fingerprint. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's working, and I think it's dual motor. <laughs> All right, let's see headlights. Oh, you can do single, dual. Okay, that's a horn. Headlights, there we go. It does light up, woohoo! Hold on, the side lights up? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know that. So it's the blue, which color, what's the name of this? Is that the cyan, cyan, cyan blue? So you can get the Tron Edition or without the Tron Edition, it's gonna be 1300. But let's see what happens if you add the Tron Edition. Yes, that's a cyan. They have um, red, green, purple, and flame, which is like an orange color. Or you can choose without it, which is gonna be $12.99.99, but if you use code SHREDDY, you get 100 bucks off that order. And then if you choose a color, which is like here on the side, it's lit, um, it's gonna be $14.39.99, and if you use code SHREDDY, it's gonna be $13.39.99. if they want a seat, how much is that? Hold on, let's, let's check this out, let's check it out. I wanna see what it looks like. Oh no, there's so much light. Does it look cool? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That does look dope. Hell yeah, I love that. All right, I'll turn on all the lights again, sorry. I just wanted to see what it looked like. There we go. We're back, we're back. And then if you select a saddle, you can get a saddle right here. I never even looked in here to see if I had one. Nope, no saddle. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dave. I put styrofoam all over the place. <laughs> Get back in there. So if you choose the saddle, it is gonna bring that price to, hold on, does it even change it? Saddle and a color, it's gonna be $14.94.98. If you do saddle without a color, it's gonna be $13.54.98. So we got a 52 volt. Uh, it's got an 18 amp hour battery right here. Um, I'm trying to, to remember all the specs. I, I went through this all earlier. Um, it's got to be two 1200 watt motors. That's going to get you to a top speed of about 40 miles an hour. You can do single or dual. If you guys are interested in the Solar P1 3.0, I'm guessing this is like their third iteration of the same scooter. Um, check out that link down below. Use code SHREDDY. Get 100 bucks off that order. Uh, I never figured out what this was for, guys. How do I raise and lower this? It feels like there's something here. Yes. There we go. Okay, so there's a button here. You can raise it and lower it. Let's see, that's probably gonna be too high. Actually, that's not bad. How do you guys like riding the scooters? Like, do you like high bars, low bars? There we go. Let's keep it low for now. Do you want to stand and on it just so I can this give is them gonna a lock reference it up. of like how yeah. you look on it? Da -da. Oh so yeah, I want to high, get it high. How tall are you? I'm about five foot 11, I'm a six feet tall. Uh, about 150 pounds, give or take. I don't know how this winter treated me. I wonder if that, yeah, there we go. Oh, I can get this higher. I can raise it all the way up, I think, the last one. So five foot 11, you might have to use a very, oh. As you said, I have the seat for mine and I like riding it that way. Yeah, it seems like it'd be pretty fun, like comfortable. Take, put the bars like all the way down. All right, there we go. All right, now see what I look like. That's way more comfortable. So if you're five foot 11, you're gonna have to put it all the way on the top. Stand on it. There we go. <laughs> I gotta figure out that, that fingerprint scanner thing. That does seem pretty cool. So what else, what else, what else? 40 mile an hour top speed, two 1200 watt motors. Uh, I'm not sure what the rider weight capacity is on here. I didn't find anything about it on their website, but you can also do different, different tires too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they only have one option is uh, on-road, and these are actually self-healing tires. They call, I guess these are called on-road, so they're not like treaded, treaded for off-road tires, but I, I would like to test out the self-healing. I don't know if I have anything like, like little sharp that I could stab into it and see it in action. That'd be pretty fun to do. Self-healing tires. Dia, any questions? Guys, any questions? Um, um, there's some questions. You guys might need to rewrite them. I don't understand. Oh, really? <laughs> do you something to put it up on so you can run up both motors? Oh, do you want to? 
That's a good idea. Oh, like you want to see him spinning? Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, hmm. PJ said, happy, hey guys, happy Eclipse Day. Happy Eclipse Day. All right, we'll Lee Izon said, nice. The fingerprints, uh, sorry, <laughs> the scarecrow said, fingerprint technology and good security. I'm just kicking stuff around. Matt know. said, does the light flash or have any other features? I am not sure, but we can try. Let me see if I can use this as like a, a makeshift stand. Scarecrow said that's going to look cool at night. I'm going to turn this off so I don't lift it, and then it freaking just takes off on me. <laughs> that's a high stand. <laughs> oh, great. This is gonna... That's good. I've never done this before. Thanks for the idea. I love that. Just turn it the couch. That's on dual. Mood two. Okay, the whole floor is shaking. <laughs> Mood th one. Mood two. It's 21 miles an hour off ground. Then mode three is, it's saying 34, 33. I'm wondering if I have to unlock this scooter because I'm getting only about 33 miles an hour no load, but I only do have three bars. I probably gotta charge this sucker up. Let's, let's see if I can change it to single. Yeah, there you go, single. 34 miles an hour, no load. And then mode one on single motor, it's like 10 miles an hour, no load. 21 miles an hour, mode two, no load. And again, mode three, Single motor, 34 miles an hour, no load. Those lights do look cool. I don't see anything like... There's a yellow button here. I'm not sure what that does. Next to the single and dual motor. You got to turn... Oh, shh, dude. Didn't even tell me that. I didn't even see that. <laughs> we got turning signals. Oh, cool. It looks like just on the rear. Yeah. Hey, who gave me that idea for picking these up? Thank you, thank you, thank you for lifting up the... I skewed. He said, I have oh, I skewed. more bad ideas. <laughs> you are, that's the best, bro. The best. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if like, I can do anything with the deck, but I think that's all we got is... That probably does look pretty dope at, at nighttime, though, I bet. Horn, headlight, left-right turning signals. And that's pretty much it, guys. So at 1300 without the Tron light on the side, or what what I say with the Tron light, about 1400 Let's check again. Can you move the box? <laughs> Sorry. And what's the top speed again? 40 mile an hour top speed, and it does have a launch mode. Let me let me uh, read about this launch mode. The Tron edition. That's so cool. I do like the color. Let me keep that on because that does look pretty dope. Yeah. Oh, so you got the on and off switch for the light, and that turns on. Yeah. Brake light gets brighter. Fingerprint display. I'm looking, I'm looking, looking, guys. Oh, we do have front and rear fenders. I forgot to say that. We do have front and rear fenders. What am I looking for now? I forgot. <laughs> You're going to check something? Check your nuts. Always check your nuts. That's the one thing you got to do after you, you, you get a scooter, get an e-bike, always check your nuts. But what was I looking for on here? If you guys can, oh, here we go. The max load of 330 pounds for this bad boy. Alloy rims, dual mechanical disc brakes. It does have sine wave controllers. That's another thing I forgot to mention. It has one, I think it's one sine wave controller. I'm not sure how many amps it is. Or, you guys see DD dancing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Is it trying light on? There we go, there we go. Oh, launch mode. We're going to talk about the launch mode. That's what we're talking about. How do I even put it? Is it that blue? That, that's probably what that yellow button is. That's right. Launch mode's ena enabling. This mode uh, puts your P1 3.0. It provides maximum output through the dual motors and tune, tunes response times to an absolute minimum, launching you from a standstill to top speeds blister in blistering times. Uh, any questions, guys? How do you use launch mode? <laughs> I don't know. Let me let me get the instructions now. I'm gonna crack this back door. Hold on. 
Posting first, that nice looking Skeeter. Where's the instructions? Oh, I threw them. There's the Skeeter's out. Um, I noticed, I tried to open the back door. Oh, really? I'm just, I'm gonna cool it down in here for Please a second. Please wear full protection when riding a stand-up scooter. I, I, dude, I know I should, I should. I'll, I'll do like a full face helmet. And I usually wear like gloves with a little armor on it and everything. Uh, the NJ, gear, it's gear, eco, drive, and sport, I guess. NJMP said, uh, what's good, but equal favorite. What's going on, on, brother? Yeah, your, your freaking reel today was, was hilarious. Hold on, are we talking, I, I, I don't know if it, if we're talking, <laughs> if I'm thinking about the same person. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the launch mode, fellas? PJ said, these brands need to come out with the shreddy edition of their products. No oh. instructions included. Yes, <laughs> let's go. It, it's like, it comes fully built. You don't have to do anything. It's just <laughs> ready to go, you know? Start mode. <laughs> I don't know where the launch, where, how you do this launch mode. Ice Kid said those lights are so the EMTs from the ambulance can find you. Dude, these things are bright. That is cool though, I like that, I like that. You fall over, you can get seen <laughs> from the skies. I'm guessing that yellow button's gonna be your launch mode. I'm just looking through the instruction manual with you guys. Antonio Jackson said anything over 20 miles an hour on a scooter is scary. Uh, yeah, especially with little tires, you know what I mean? Those are self-healing tires. That's crazy. I really want to stab them. Should I stick the razor blade in it? Like, so Double drive icon, USB. Where's, there's a cruise control. Seema said, I love that there's no red paint decals or colors on it. Red is way overdone on scooters. Okay, so here we go, guys. I got to get into the display, and I do. I think I do have to unlock the full 40 miles an hour in there because here's like all your P settings, and I'm pretty sure you can change. Yeah, P15 full speed ratio out of 100 can change depending on top speed if you'd like. 100 is oh default, so top speed can always be reach, and you can change it. You got cruise control, taillights, torque settings. Oh, so you can change a, the torque. I wonder how it comes. So you do have to go into the P uh, settings, go to P20. Launch mode can change, so you change it to the, what? Somebody say something? Oh, I was, I was reading the instructions with you guys. Sorry, you guys can't see me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see that, okay. Uh, yeah, so we gotta get into the settings to do, do a launch mode. Are there any questions we can get to before Are we- Are you gonna show that now? We end this, I'm not gonna launch now, no. <laughs> You know how crazy uh, it would be launching in a house? Electric Scooter Man said, what's up? What's going on, Electric Scooter Man? This is the Solar P1 3.0. If you guys are interested, there's a link down below. Use code TREDDY, get 100 bucks off your order. <laughs> Lee Azan says, story time with TREDDY. What do you guys want to know about? Maybe my first time I ever fell? I don't know. I, did, I just gave up the links right now, yeah? These back there are like, money, we need no. some money. <laughs> And any more questions? That's it. Guys, don't forget, 9 o'clock. Kill Tony is going to be on in 30 minutes. So uh, we got to get showered up, pop on the TV, YouTube. Oh, watch Solar Kill Scooters Tony. just entered the chat. There are Solar Scooters. All right, we're going to stay on for a little bit longer. Is there, if you guys have any questions for Solar Scooters, we got this bad boy together. We're trying to figure out the launch mode. I noticed there's this like yellow button next to the single and dual motors. Or do I have to get into the P settings and change it to launch mode? Uh, I was looking at... Oh, your display settings. So Solar Shooter said, hey guys, here to answer any questions you may have. How do I launch this bad boy? And does, does this scooter come uh, totally unlocked with the full torque on here? Or do I have to get into the P settings and change uh, P20? Or is it always in launch mode? So again, it's a 52 volt, 18 amp hour battery. We got dual motors, 1200 watt motors. You can do, you can run them uh, at the same time or run just a single motor. Uh, earlier, uh, we picked up the, the scooter and ran them and with no load, I think we we're only hitting about like 34 miles an hour. Um, what else, what else? Solar we, said change the P setting to hard start. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go into the P settings and change all that. I'm gonna do that on the review and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. But any questions for solar scooters while, while they're in here? They, they don't only have scooters. They have another thing called the Eclipse, which is pretty cool. 
So if you guys want to check that out, you guys can still go through that link. And I'm pretty sure you can use code Shreddy for any product on their website. Uh, we have some questions. Uh, there's some questions up further in the chat too, Solar Scooters. But here's some, uh, Ice Scoot says, solar looks like a great value, powerful machine. Liam says, why is there a red button on your P1 3.0? I thought they implemented it into the screen. Oh, the red button, this is single and dual. So that changes uh, sing from single to dual or from dual to single. And then uh, the fingerprint scanner, I'll, I'll do all that stuff later. And I'll show you guys on the review for this. Any questions? Any questions? Um, Lee is on. Said the eclipse is so sick. It was pretty awesome. I did some wheelies during the eclipse. It was pretty cool. If you guys want to check out the little shorter reel I is did earlier. Is he talking about the bike? He said the eclipse is so sick. He might be talking yeah, about the, eclipse. the bike. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the eclipse today was sick, and the eclipse is sick. <laughs> Fema said, "Why the twist throttle? Is it better than the alternative throttles, and why?" You mean the uh, the trigger? Is it on? Oh, I'll You guys to want to see how the throttle looks? Want me to zoom into it? I'll just, I'll lean it down. Boom. I'm going to hold the brake cut off and hit it. There you go. And then you got a little fingerprint scanner, or you can get a, a key entry one. <laughs> you can get a seat on this bad boy. You can get all different color uh, floorboards. Oh, I didn't even see the sticker on there. Right there. Oh, you got dual. Look at that. Okay, so you can speed charge. You can either um, use one charger or you can use both chargers at the same time. That's pretty cool. So you can get another 1.8 amp charger. Do you guys have faster chargers than uh, 1.8 amps? So Solar said it depends if you get key start version or fingerprint scanner, which determines if you have the red button. Oh, okay. That better be this button right here. So maybe you can change it to dual motor on the display on the other one. On the keyed entry one. Am I correct? But you have both. <laughs> no, I don't have a keyed entry, no. I got a fingerprint scanner. See? Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lee said he was referring to the bike eclipse. So this does have full <laughs> suspension. A little rear suspension. You guys want to see me jump on it a little bit while you guys ask solar questions? Neighbors are probably like, what the hell? <laughs> said I stand corrected. I thought Oops. it had a twist throttle. Thanks. Yeah, just a little boop, boop, boop. I love these throttles. Um, Solar said the twist throttle is usually preferred as it's the most common. And now are you guys talking about the Eclipse? <laughs> uh, I said my scooter has the trigger. I would rather have a twist. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever, I've ever ridden a scooter with a full twist throttle. Solar Scooter said, yes, if you get an additional identical charger, you can charge twice as fast. Hell yeah. That's awesome. PJ said, great unboxing. Thank you. Thank you for joining, brother. I appreciate it. Getting ready for Kill Tony. Hell yeah. It's coming on soon, guys. If you don't watch Kill Tony, I haven't seen Kill Tony yet. It's on YouTube. Nine o'clock. Like 20 minutes. Solar, is there anything else you guys want to point out about these awesome scooters you guys have? Yeah, like what's what's the number one detail that you guys love about this scooter? Oh, think, they said Shreddy, what was your first impression on the P1? My first impression is it's pretty solid. It, it feels it doesn't feel like cheap. It feels really solid. Like there's no shaky or janky feeling parts, but we'll see when I feel the power. I can't wait to like actually put this in launch mode and, and feel the the power of this bad boy. It, it seems like it does have some some good torque and good speed and I can't wait to try it out. And I love this, this is so cool. I didn't know I was getting the Tron Edition. I thought I was just getting the regular one, but I got the Tron Edition. That's pretty sick. Oh, so the Tron means like the light up. Yeah. You, you remember that movie Tron? There yeah. was an old Tron from back in, I think it was like the 80s and then they redid it like in the 2000s, maybe, maybe early 2000s, I can't remember. Eddie Angel Morales said, great unboxing, sir. Try the Nanobot scooter next. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I will uh, try it out. Liam said, can you buy solid handlebars from Solar Direct? Solar, that's a good question. What else? Solar what else? said, hell yeah. Oh, Solar, I know this is this takes a max payload of 330 pounds. How much does the, the scooter weigh in, in total? 
I feel like I saw 53 pounds earlier because I did pick it up with one arm out of the whole box and I'm pretty weak, so. <laughs> Electric Shooter Man said, not a bad price. I love to add external battery with it. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder, oh, I guess you'd have to like pop open the floorboard, get some kind of connector, maybe put it back here or have like a book bag battery. Uh, people, people come up with some awesome, awesome upgrades and mods. Solar Shooter said, Tron Edition is a first for e-scooters. Everyone thinks it's LED tech, but it's actually something so much bigger. Oh, really? We are the first company to fit electroluminescent lighting to an e-scooter. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, that looks so crazy. It's not, it's, it's yeah, it looks cool. Elect are those those like electroluminescent, like sh little pads you can put little electrodes in? And they come in like different colors. That is pretty cool. The scooter weighs you can cut them in different shapes. 35 kilograms, I believe. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is that in pounds? Anyone know? <laughs> What's 35 kilograms? In pounds. It's 77.16 pounds. 77.16 pounds. Dude, there's no way I picked up 77 pounds with one arm. That's crazy. It doesn't feel that heavy. Not bad, not they bad. They said it's the same way jellyfish glow. That's what, really? Cool. That's pretty cool to know. You know, one time I, I was fishing at nighttime and sometimes we have this luminescent water here in Delaware and I was like running my fishing line through the water and I kept on seeing like green glowing water. I was like, what the hell? And I put my hand through it and it was just like green glowing water. It was so cool looking. I've never seen anything like it. It was so neat. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? I feel like that was like the, the one and only time I'll probably ever see that. But it was in Delaware. And uh, <laughs> NJMP said Mofungo or Empanadas? <laughs> oh, yes. We'll do, um, damn, man. I, I, I want to do them both. Did he say Mofungo or Empanadas? Let's do them both, man. Shit. <laughs> I love them both. Any more questions? Says, Shreddy, I'd like to see a review of the Frigo 39 bike by Frigo. Looks like a Suron. It, I'm sure you may have seen it. I'm not. If not, I'd definitely like to see you do a review if possible. Coming soon, bro. Coming soon, for sure, for sure. And then tomorrow we're shooting the review for the Hemiway uh, C5. After that, we're going to shoot the review for the Solar P1 3.0 scooter. And after that, we got some Jackrabbit videos to shoot. I still got a, a group ride video that I've been working on the last couple of days, uh, riding with E-Ride Pro, the owners from E-Ride Pro, the owners from P51, the owners from Handleworks. Uh, that group ride's gonna be coming out pretty soon in Huntington Beach. Awesome freaking ride. Um, one of the bikes got a flat tire. The owner from P51 actually flipped the bike upside down on top of its P51 and rode it all the way back to the shop, which was pretty far, or back to the parking lot, which was actually a, a far ride. And it's crazy, I've never seen anybody carry a bike, let alone an e-bike on an e-bike. Freaking nuts. So I can't wait for that to come out. Oh man, there's some group rides in Palos Verdes, group ride in Cholula or Chihuahua, California. All these places are California, guys. <laughs> Lots of California group rides. And we got one Austin group ride that we did a little night ride too that people were riding downhill in sidecars, hitting speed bumps. Bro, people were like literally getting launched up out of these sidecars. I was like, oh my God, they're really gonna hit the speed bump. <laughs> they hit the speed bump, it was crazy. Oh, and we were riding with pedal peasants. If you're a pedal peasant, I'm sorry. Uh, pedal peasants, we're going up the hill in, in uh, Austin. Bro, I'm on an e-bike, like just chilling with the throttle, like yeah. All of a sudden, all these pedal peasants just drop and stop. I'm like, right in front of me, I'm going around like 100 people on regular bikes, dude. It was, it was nuts. So that, that video's gotta be coming out pretty soon. Dee, were you on that ride or did, yes. did you skip that one? I was on it and I almost fell off my bike when they all stopped. The pedal me. peasants, that's right. My bikes yeah. are going backwards. Yep. <laughs> That was pretty fun. That was a fun ride. Uh, we have some more questions. Liam Anand, I like the Solar P1 3.0 very much. It accelerates faster than most cars on the road, in my opinion. Let's freaking race. Let's do it. What color What color would you get on the Tron, uh, on your Tron board? Oh, Solar Scooter said, my mistake. It's 55 pounds. I was on. I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I, I, I knew I, I probably couldn't pick up almost 80 pounds. Can you turn the lights on one more time? Oh, they're off. Oh, it turns off after about maybe five or 10 minutes. There we go. Back on, back on. Sorry, guys. We're getting Are through the Are you going to get any of the goat bikes? Uh, there's, yeah, I think yes. there's one coming our way. <laughs> and I think they're getting, 
They're also getting like a Suron style bike too, I think. I think. Um, Solar Scooter said 55 pounds or 24.95 kilograms. Kilograms. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I wish we used kilograms in America. I don't understand. <laughs> FEMA said, does it have an electric line disconnect for easier tire changes? Ah, Solar, that's actually a great, great question. And let me see. Where's the quick connect for the. It looks like it's going to be under the, the board, the floorboard for the rear one and the front one to go doo -doo -doo -doo. following it through, following it. Where is it at now? Oh, here, right here. Oh, and it goes in here. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the outside or again, both of them. Let me see. The, it looks like the floorboard's pretty easy to get off. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, screws with Allen heads, it looks like. Take that off, and I'm sure the plugs are going to be right there. But I'm not sure. I've never taken it off. Solar scooters, am I correct? PJ said, yay. He's excited for the Freego 79 bike. Yes. Um, electric scooter man. See if I was going to ask that. I have a V-Set 10, and it was a pain because of the stupid motor cable in the way. Oh, no. Solar said, would love to join a group ride. For sure. Dude, I'll be back out in California soon. I would definitely would love to do a group ride with Solar Scooters. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Let's set something up. He said to let people have test rides on our bike if they want to. Heck yeah. Do you guys have a shop in Los Angeles also? Because I always see you guys doing videos out there. I'm not sure if you guys have a shop there or like a warehouse. Uh, Solar Scooter said it's inside the deck. Okay. So I was right, I was right. Jerron Jury said, are you gonna take it on a group ride? This thing? I mean, if you wanna test it out, I can bring it to, to a group ride. Where are you from? Might be doing a, a, a DC group ride. It'd be kinda cool to bring a scooter. I don't think I've ever brought a scooter on a group ride, ever. That'd be a first. I might, I might have to get a seat though. What if, what if my legs <laughs> get tired? I'm, uh, I'm so used to just like sitting and throttling. Solar Scooter said, take Easy to take off, just a few Allen screws. Mm -hmm. Ryan McCann, Shredhead member. Hey, I'm late. oh, you're late, bro. We got this unboxed in like two seconds. I pulled out one arm. This is the Solar P1 3.0 scooter. It's got a top speed of 40 miles an hour. We can get into the P settings, put it in the launch mode. This thing will go from zero to 20. I don't even know how many seconds, but uh, 1200 watt front and rear motor. You can do single or dual. Use code Shreddy, get 100 bucks off your order. Retails for $12.99.99 without the Tron color. And with the Tron, I think it was $14.39.99. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right on that one. Any more questions, guys? Ryan McCann said, did I miss any struggling? Uh, the only thing I struggled with was maybe taking off the, the plastic for the <laughs> headlight. It was like a slight struggle. Not too bad, not too bad. Solar Scooter said, yes, we do. We have a showroom in Lancaster just outside of LA. Oh, okay. So yeah, next time I'm in California, I'm coming to meet you. Hopefully you're not in the UK and you're in LA and then we can hang out and go for a, a fun little group ride around LA and pop some wheelies and stuff. That'd be hella fun. And we have uh, someone new in the chat, Jaron Jury. I'm from Corinth, uh, MS. Is that Missouri? <laughs> Missouri, Minnesota, Missouri. I don't know. Mississippi, uh, Missouri, Minnesota. I think it's Missouri. Well, what, what are the MSs that are out there? Ryan McCann said, now let's see Shreddy jump the whoops hills. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to jump some hills on this? I mean, I'll, I'll definitely hit a jump. I'll, maybe I'll hit that church jump. Uh, pop off some curves. I'll pop off like some high-ish curves. I don't know. I don't want to break myself too bad. But we do have a quad front suspension and then rear suspension here. Actually, it feels pretty nice, this suspension. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to be taking this off into the grass, off-roading, riding through the grass, all that good stuff. Solar said, I'll be back in LA for a few days, just in Texas at the moment. Just watch the solar eclipse in Arkansas. So Hell yeah. Ask. <laughs> Arkansas. I've never been to Arkansas. Yeah, so you saw the total solar eclipse. That's nice. Yeah, I was watching his videos. It looked like it got pretty dark there. It was pretty awesome. I tried to do the, the time lapse like I, uh, I was telling you about, and it didn't look like anything here. It wasn't a total eclipse. Like I had the uh, my uh, GoPro or Insta360 on my Suron. Just sitting there looking at the bike in the sun. And then I looked at the, the video after. It was sitting there for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. 
and it didn't look like anything. It was just clouds moving. I was like, man, that's a bummer. <laughs> but I did get some wheelies out today. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, Brian McCann said, sure, you got to do wheelies too. Heck yeah. Electric Scooter Man, I'm from Tennessee. It's raining every day till Friday. Dude, it makes me so sad. So tomorrow's going to be the last nice day, and then after that, it's going to be rain, two days of rain, and then two days of wind. And when it gets windy here in, in uh, southern Delaware, it gets windy. Really windy. And Jerron Jury said the MS was for Mississippi. <laughs> All right. Mississippi. What, we never said Mississippi, did we? Did we ever say? I think I did. Oh. I mean. Missouri, I, I thought it was Missouri. But solar scooters, it was honestly amazing and super clear blue sky. Hell yeah. That's awesome you got, a, you got to, to view the eclipse like that, man. I wanted to see the whole total thing. I didn't know until like it was like halfway through and I'm like, D, are we going to see? It's going to get dark here. And she's like, no, it's not a total eclipse. I'm like, oh. I thought it was going to get dark. That's a bummer. And we're not going to see it for another 100 years. That's such a bummer. Such a bummer. Brian sent Shardy a link. He said, Shardy, check out the M10 EN4 EUC. It's $4.99. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, Electric yeah. unicycle. And shout out to all the Shredhead members that are in the chat right now. I can't see the Shredhead members that are in here, but uh, if you do want to become a Shredhead member, you can get like review videos and ride videos sometimes two to three days earlier. And I've, I've shot a few just like members only videos. I might shoot, shoot a few more, do some like crazy riding and put it on there because they've been trying to demonetize all, all types of things that have wheelies in it now on YouTube. I literally put a video that short of me doing wheelies today. Didn't put anything about wheelies in, in the description and they demonetized it, so. And it said they're gonna limit the visibility. Yeah, to... so they're not gonna be pushing it out. So crazy, YouTube is getting so weak nowadays. But yeah, so Shredhead members are gonna get videos two to three days earlier. You get a little Shredhead emblem. Right now, I think Brian McCann might have the newest one where it's like, the big shred head next to his name. Um, he's got like one of the highest tiers. So each tier you're gonna get a different color shred head or a zoomed in cool shred head. Your name's highlighted in the chat. And then I uh, put your name at the end of every single video. So become a shred head member. Help us get a freaking transit van <laughs> or cargo van. We need, to, we need to drive around with scooters Travel and e-bikes. more. Yes. Uh, Liam said, rides. would you use the scooter in the rain? I think it's got an IP54 or 56 rating, so I wouldn't be scared using it in the rain, but I'd be scared like riding it through puddles or submerging it. I wouldn't do that. Or like a crazy downfall, like downpour. PG said it covered Dallas perfectly. Uh, the eclipse is coming through the United States again in 2045, I believe. Really? How old am I going to be then? Oh, I'm going to be freaking <laughs> old, dude. <laughs> solar Scooter said good thing people can own their own solar eclipse. Heck yeah, dude. It, it's funny that I did a solar unboxing on the day of the solar eclipse. It would have been funny if I did a solar eclipse unboxing on the day of the solar eclipse. Maybe, maybe we'll wait till 2045 and we'll do that <laughs> unboxing. It'll be flying by then, I think. Brian said, Shreddy, you need a sponsor. Yeah, so what do we, uh, well, we had Manscaped sponsored us for a little bit, but I, I, that was kind of weird. I don't know. I need a sponsor that kind of aligns with like, the electric like stuff. not checking those nuts yeah not yeah not shaving the nuts but <laughs> <laughs> checking your nuts <laughs> ah and that's gonna be the end of the stream guys this is the p1 scooter 3.0 if you guys are interested there's a link down below use code shreddy get a hundred dollars off your order thank you guys so much for joining this live stream on monday 8 52 kill tony's on in, in, in a few minutes so put it on youtube look up kill tony Hit that uh, premiere, subscribe to them guys. Make sure if you're not subscribed to me, also subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this unboxing. And again, link down below, use code Shreddy for solar scooters. It does come in a few other colors too, if you want the Tron edition, or if you don't, you can get it without that. So uh, solar scooters, thank you brothers. Thank you so much for joining the chat and uh, answering all the questions that you guys had. And again, if you got, want to become a Shredhead member, links down below. And review coming soon. Yeah, the review is going to be coming soon. I said that uh, <laughs> that we're going to do the what what bike are we riding again tomorrow? The Hemiway C5 tomorrow, and then we're going to be shooting a review on this the next the next review. So that's going to be coming soon. So if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence? for that subscribe button. In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live unboxing.
Thank you guys for joining. Say bye, D. Oh, I said thanks, guys. Hope to meet you soon. Peace out. Love you guys.